Welcome back to Askademics Basic English Course. This is video five. We will discuss the difference between happy and sad. Let's get started. So first a little warm up. Let's read some information about Kaylee here. We'll be reading and talking a little bit more about her later on. Feel free to pause and try this yourself first. So Kaylee, she is 16 years old. She comes from a rich family. She goes to private school. Her hobbies are classical music and horses. She lives in London, England. Her father is a diplomat. Her mother is a politician. She has no boyfriend, but she has a pet dog named Bouncer. Uh, Bouncer is a great name for a dog. I love that. So now we're going to do some reading activities. So let's look at these sentences from Kaylee's diary and let's try to decide is she happy or sad? So here we go. Very good day at school. I love my school. Violin lesson at 6 p.m. Very difficult. I think the piano is better. Bouncer is ill. I'm very worried about him. So pause the video and try to decide for each of these entries. Is she happy or sad? Okay, let's take a look. So very good day at school. I love my school. So good is definitely a positive word. Love another positive word. So pretty clear she is happy. Number two, violin lesson at 6 p.m. Very difficult. I think the piano is better. So very difficult. That is negative. Okay, so she is sad. Maybe not very sad, but at least a little sad. Okay, it's a challenge. Number three, bouncer is ill. I'm very worried about him. Okay, this one should be quite clear. Not only is she worried, which is negative, but very worried. So she is quite sad about Bouncer. I hope he's okay. Now, one quick grammar note before we move on. Some of you may have noticed that some of these are not complete sentences. Okay, so it's not technically good English. For example, very good day at school. We are missing the subject, okay? So we should say, it was a very good day at school, but this is very common when people are texting or jotting notes that they will drop off the subject if it is implied, if we can guess easily what the subject is. So don't worry too much. This is something that you will see quite often in English. So with that in mind, Let's read some phone texts that Kaylee sends to her friend, Samantha. Hold on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's try slide five again. Okay, so that was a good warm up. So now we're going to read some phone texts uh, that Kaylee is sending to her friend, Samantha. And we're going to try to do the same thing. So can you spot, is she happy or sad for each of these phrases, for each of these messages? Okay, feel free to pause and try to read it yourself and you can listen to me read it as well. Tuesday, March 16th. Oh no, I have a history test today. I hate history. I know you love it. Then we have two terrible hours of chemistry. Wednesday, March 17th. Do you have the Shakespeare book with you? I don't have it. My bedroom is very untidy. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm in biology today. And Mr. Grayson is always angry and unhappy. Friday, March 19th. It's Friday, Sam. I love Fridays. Wow, I'm happy today. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tennis, swimming, and shopping. 
Do you have the difficult French homework? Monday, March 22nd. It's windy and wet and I'm very cold. I hate Mondays. Even my dog Bouncer is miserable today. Why do Mondays exist? Isn't Sunday to Tuesday better? I also have a headache. Okay, so is she happy or sad each day? We're going to look at the words in her messages and let's try and figure out are they positive or negative. I'll read through her messages one more time and as I read, try to pick out which negative or positive words she uses. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Tuesday, March 16th. Oh no, I have a history test today. I hate history. I know you love it. Then we have two terrible hours of chemistry. Wednesday, March 17th. Do you have the Shakespeare book with you? I don't have it. My bedroom is very untidy. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm in biology today, and Mr. Grayson is always angry and unhappy. Friday, March 19th. It's Friday, Sam. I love Fridays. Wow, I'm happy today. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tennis, swimming, and shopping. Do you have the difficult French homework? Monday, March 22nd. It's windy and wet and I'm very cold. I hate Mondays. Even my dog Bouncer is miserable today. Why do Mondays exist? Isn't Sunday to Tuesday better? I also have a headache. So, could you find the positive and negative words in her messages? Let's take a look. So, in the first message, she uses the word hate, which is negative, love, which is positive, and terrible, which is very negative. But the only time she uses love, she is talking about her friend. So it's pretty clear she is sad on Tuesday. For Wednesday, she is using the word angry, which is negative, and unhappy, which is negative. And she's using that to talk about Mr. Grayson. So she is sad about Mr. Grayson's class. Friday, she uses the words love, which is positive, wow, which is positive, and happy, which is positive. She does use the word difficult, which is negative, but I would say she uses more happy words here. So it's pretty clear she is quite happy overall on Friday. So Monday, she uses the word hate. She also uses the word miserable. Uh, both are negative. Miserable is very negative. So it's pretty clear that Monday is a bad day. Okay, she is sad. Now, a couple of quick grammar notes about these messages. Now, I'm sure a lot of you notice that you can use context to try to figure out these words. For example, on Monday, she is talking about how you know, Monday shouldn't exist, Sunday to Tuesday is better, she has a headache. So even if we don't see these negative words, she is complaining about Monday, so we can guess that she is in a bad mood. Okay. The negative words help us to realize that, but often we can tell what these words mean by the words and ideas around them. So a little trick there. So also, some of you might not be familiar with how I was reading the dates. So for example, with our first message, it's March 16th. We won't cover this in this course, but just know that that is a way for us to talk about an order of numbers. So first, second, third, and this is how we write that. So don't worry about that for now, but that's why I read it that way. Lastly, this is very useful, but notice that in the Wednesday, March 17th message, she uses the word ha ha. This is very, very common in English informal texting. 
it is basically a way for us to mimic laughing. Each language does it in their own way, but for English, it's ha ha. Okay, so very useful when you're texting with friends. So let's end with some speaking and vocabulary practice. So on the screen, we have the words that Kaylee used to describe how she was happy or sad. So what I want you to do is to pause the video, try to pronounce these words on your own, and also look up any words that you still don't know for sure. Okay, so take a moment, look at that, and then I will read them to check your pronunciation. Okay, so I'm going to pronounce these words and see if they match your own. If one of these words is different than how you read it, feel free to practice and re-listen until you feel comfortable with it. So here we go. Terrible. Terrible. Angry. Angry. Hate. Hate. Miserable. Miserable. Wow. Wow. Happy. Happy. So again, make sure you practice these words, know how to pronounce them, know what they mean. These are very useful. You will use them all the time in English communication. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the course today. I will see you next time. As always, keep practicing.